Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in to this Titan Tutorials video. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to build and set up your own wiring harness for any LED light bars that you'd like to put on your vehicle. So let's get right into it. We've put this diagram together to lay out exactly what you'll need to do, exactly what components you'll need, and exactly how everything will be constructed together. So let's start here in the middle with our relay. So from our relay, we're gonna go to positive, to the light bar, and from that uh, positive, we're also gonna split off and go to the other light bar. From the relay 85, we're gonna take it to negative, and we're also gonna split that off to negative to the other light bar. From that same spot, you can run ground, or what we'll do is we'll run negative to the battery. From your relay 30, you're going to take that to the fuse. From the other piece of the fuse, you're going to run that to the positive of your battery. On the far side, 86 on the relay, you'll take that to the switch you'll take a wire to ground, and then you'll take from your switch a wire that will go to the ignition or constant hot. In our example, we're gonna use constant hot, that way the vehicle doesn't have to be on or the ignition doesn't have to be on if you want your lights uh, to power on. So it's actually very simple to get a wiring harness built yourself. If you were just doing one light bar, the only difference is you exclude these. You don't split off to the other light bar. You just go directly to the one and you can set up a wiring harness for one light bar that way. So again, understand your components, your light bar, a relay, battery, preferably inline fuse and a switch. And then you'll need three different types of wire. We're in this example, we're using 14 gauge take it to positive, negative, and we prefer a different color that we can use to wire to our switch. All right, so here we've outlined the real life version of all the components that we're gonna use and we align them with the diagram here. So we've got our two seven inch light bars. You'll see positive and negative for each of those. Down here, we've got this inline fuse that we'll need right here. Our 12 volt relay for this piece and our switch, you'll notice the three prongs on the switch and the corresponding wires for each of those. So now we understand the components, we understand the process of how we're gonna wire everything. Let's get right into it and get this wiring harness built. All right, so let's start here at the bottom with our inline fuse. As you can see, we already put a female connector on one end and a ring connector on the other end. That ring connector is gonna to go to the positive of the battery. This is gonna to go to the 30 prong on the relay. If you look really closely, you can see that there's some uh, numbers indicating which is which. This will actually be here at the bottom. So we'll plug that in. And you can see the first part of our wiring harness already coming together. Next, we're going to do the same thing. One wire for ground to the battery, well, the negative to the battery, as well as going negative to the light bar. Okay, so we've got the second piece of our wiring harness attached. As we get more and more uh, on this wiring harness, it's going to get difficult to see, but... This is the part that we are working on. So from 85 on the relay, here on the right, took the 14 gauge wire, put a ring connector on the end. That's what's gonna go to the negative of our battery. From that same place, we've got another wire coming out and that's going to go to both of the negatives 
of our small light bars or our light uh, light pods or cube lights. So that piece is done. We're basically going to repeat that for this top part of the relay. We're going to take our positive wire to the positives of both of the light bars and connect that to 87 on the relay. Okay, so we've got that piece done as well. Again, we took our positive wire to this female connector to 87 on our relay. That wire runs up and it goes to the positive of your light bar, it goes to the positive of each of your uh, light pods. And that's all there is to that piece. So the final piece that we have is running another wire to our switch, run that to 86, the left hand side of our relay. Okay, so to finish up our wiring harness, we just had one piece left. That was taking the last wire, which again, looking at our diagram, we're taking 86, female connector, running that across to the center prong of our switch. This is a toggle switch on and off. You have one wire going to ignition or constant hot, you have another wire which we're going to take to ground so you just take a again another small connector find a screw somewhere and ground that down onto your vehicle okay so that's it that's everything you will need to know about building your own wiring harness just to go over the components one more time if you're looking to build this yourself the products are going to be in the description if you'd like to purchase them that way. You'll need a relay, an inline fuse, some sort of three prong switch, of course your light bars, and then we used 14 gauge wire which is plenty. You'll need enough to run to each of your light bars, black negative wire to run to each of your light bars, also to the battery then a different color to run to your switch and then again the black the black and red wiring to run ignition and ground on your switch so we hope you found this video helpful feel free to share this diagram and this video with others who are looking to wire their own light bars and light pods without the use of purchasing a pre-built harness this is a great way to save yourself a little bit of money Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time at Titan Tutorials.